Hi, welcome to Dixie Storytime World. I'm proud to present The Nose Family, written by Costas Andreo and illustrated by Cindy. For more information about the writer and the books, please check the description at the bottom of this video. Now kids, before I start the story, I just want to let you know there's a golden bird hiding on each page of this book. See if you can find it. A long time ago, there lived a family, a family of noses. They were like no other nose family. They were very interested in other noses' lives. Some would say that they were nosy. There was Mr. Nose, Mrs. Nose, and Minnie Nose. The family always wanted to know everything about everybody. They were up early before all the other noses in town, which was a small town of interesting noses. All were different and had different jobs. All had their own lives, busy and happy. Some were doctors and some were teachers. Some were farmers and some were builders. Though Mr. Nose was busy, he wasn't the happiest nose in town. He thought his job at the library wasn't very interesting at all. He was so fed up, he wanted a reason to stop nosing around and be happy. It was at that moment he had a great idea. His idea was genius. He thought he would go and knock on every door in town and ask if they had any jobs they needed doing. Some noses were happy and couldn't stop finding jobs for him to do. Some were very annoyed and thought that Mr. Nose was just being nosy. Mr. Nose started to become really happy with himself and stopped being nosy and interested in other noses' lives. He became one of the happiest noses in town. However, Mrs. Nose was still nosy and not as happy as Mr. Nose. She started cleaning every inch of her house to keep busy. She would clean from top to bottom until the whole house glistened. After a while, she too stopped being nosy and started to become happy and busy. And finally, their little mini nose. Once she saw how her mother and father were so happy, she also wanted to stop being so nosy. And so she thought and thought until she finally got it. She would do the one thing she loved to do, painting. So she started painting. And she too stopped being nosy. She would paint anything or anyone. There was nothing she wouldn't try to paint. And Minnie Nose became happy and busy just like her father and mother Nose. Now all the Nose family were happy and busy and no longer nosy. Even after one year flew by, the Nose family were one of the happiest Noses in town and all the other Noses started to nose around their house. Once, not so long ago, in Nose Town, all the noses were happy and busy. The Nose family were once very nosy until they became too busy to be nosy. Mr. Nose had his job in the library and he was also helping lots of the other noses doing anything he could to keep busy, which kept him happy. Mrs. Nose was keeping herself busy by cleaning and tidying every corner of her house. Even though she was busy, she was starting to get fed up and wish that something different would happen. Minnie Nose was painting more than ever. There was not any nose she did not ask to paint. On a day, like every other day, Mrs. Nose was tidying some old boxes when she came across an old box that she had never seen before. The box had a sign that said, Do not open. Mrs. Nose opened the mysterious and dusty box and in it she found an amazing golden pen. 
thinking nothing of it. She took it with her to try out later. The next morning, as the Nose family were having breakfast, she used the golden pen she found to write a shopping list for Mr. Nose. Once it was finished, she gave the list to Mr. Nose and asked him to come home with everything on the list. As Mr. Nose left home, he dropped the list and it blew away. Hours later, he came home and told Mrs. Nose that he had lost the list. She told him not to worry and that she would go shopping the next day. The next morning, Mrs. Nose woke up before Mr. and Minnie Nose and decided she would go shopping. But when she went downstairs, she could not believe her eyes. Everything on the list she had given to Mr. Nose was right there on the kitchen floor. She ran to wake up Mr. Nose. She thought he was playing a joke on her. What would happen next would surprise all the noses in town. That very day, Minnie Nose found the golden pen and drew a little flower. What would happen next would surprise all the noses in town. That very day, Minnie Nose found the golden pen and drew a little flower. Minnie took the pen again and wrote down paint on the list in hopes that Mrs. Nose would buy some for her. But the very next day, as she woke, she could not believe her eyes. Her room was full of every type of paint in every colour. Minnie Nose was very confused. She thought for a moment about the golden pen and wanted to test it. She didn't know what to write or draw, but then decided to draw a balloon. She thought, what harm could a balloon do? She could pop them if too many turned up. In the morning, she woke to find a single red balloon floating above her bed. She told Mrs. Nose, who was the wisest of all the Nose family. She took the pen and put it back where she found it, but with a bigger sign this time. Do not open. She would remember not to open the box. Life with the Nose family went back to normal. Mr. Nose was still working at the library and helping lots of other Noses too. Mrs. Nose carried on tidying and cleaning her house. Minnie Nose had all the paint she could ever want and a red balloon floating above her bed. Whenever Mrs. Nose felt fed up, she would go and find the golden pen. Well, kids, how many little golden birds did you find in this book? Look out for the next Nose Family Adventure by subscribing and staying up to date. You can also visit the Nose Family website. Kids always remember to be good, polite and kind. Thank mm -hmm. you.